Greeting comrades, I hope you all doing well. Today is the first episode of Tech Wizard, series where I share with you some advanced computer and technical strategies presented in digestible manner. Today we will speak about graphic cards, also known as GPUs. This is those expensive $1,000 bricks that usually dies in your computer and you need to buy the new one and you cannot buy because they are sold out. We will, I will told you how they die and how to you know, prevent it from happening so you don't need to buy the new one because we are always broke. Right, brothers? All dangerous experiments performed in this movie are made by experienced individuals and trying it. Please do not repeat it at home. So, let's begin with first experiment. I will now disassemble this graphic card and begin the presentation. As you can see, I have heavenly heat components in the middle area of this graphic card and then measure the temperature in couple different hotspots around the center. As you can see, some parts were hotter and some were colder. This is because different material types were used and there are also different scale of thickness are present. For example, this is aluminum. And this PCB is made of synthetic composite that block transfer of electricity. And under these black squares, the silicon is present. Now, my friends, let's please recall what is happening to your ball sack when it's cold or hot. When your ball sack is hot, it's expanding, it's fluffy, it's happy, it's dingling. But when your ball sack is cold, it's actually shrinking, keeping your egg inside. Same thing happening to your graphic card. When you play games, it's heating up and expanding. And when you turn off your computer, it's cooling down and shrinking. Do you remember our experiment? Every time you heat up or cool down your graphic card, the components present or your, on the PCB are expand or shrink with different speed because they are made with different materials and the heat spread is uneven at the beginning. That put tension on connection between those two components, eventually leading to the mere damage and disconnect of these components that are present on the graphic cards. That's when your graphic card dies and the black screen happens. Ooh. So conclusion. Your cards don't really care if it's 60 or 80 degrees Celsius hot. Rapid heat ups and rapid cool downs is what it's harming in longevity, like roller coaster of temperature. That's right, playing 24 7 is actually good for your graphic card, so I recommend that. Of course, there is upper limit how much heat you can go up. Usually, components on the graphic cards are rated up to 1010 on 1030 degrees Celsius. But please beware that even if reported core temperature of the center of your card is 80 degree, that the same time part of the card responsible for power delivery may be as hot as 150 degrees Celsius. And that is not very, this is, this is very not good for your graphic card. Anyway. I hope you I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time my friends. Very soon.
push. <laughs>